Hello friends, today in this video I want to show you how you can get your iPhone screen directly into your video feed or live stream with the ATM Mini or two capture cards and OBS. This makes it possible so that you can charge your phone, have it connected to the ATM or have it show up in OBS and all of that via HDMI. This is possible mainly because of the Apple Media Kit adapter and that looks something like this if it's not totally blown out. It's a white packaging so that makes it a little harder to see here. But essentially you have this little kit right here. I think it costs like 40 or 50 euros. It's relatively expensive as adapters and dongles from Apple are, but it takes the signal from your iPhone in the lightning port, splits it into a charging connector and a HDMI connection, and that then can be simply put into your ATM mini. And that way you can create something like I have here on the screen with the in-picture thing and a overlay with the upstream keyer. Now to set a picture and picture up like this, we have to switch back to the computer and here we have the ATM software control. Now here, what you wanna do is you wanna go to the upstream key one and then go to DVE. Now, if you have a ITM Mini Extreme, you might also have other upstream keyers. Of course, you can use another one for this as well. Then we have the fill source and there you have to select which of the HDMI ports your phone is connected to, position it wherever you want, and also have the size something you desire. Now, the numbers that I have set up right here are pretty darn close so that when I put this on screen, it essentially is all the way to the right and it is also scaled so that it goes from top to bottom and fills the screen, but everything is visible that the normal phone screen would show. Now, if we go down, we also have to make the mask work and that's with a 12.05. And that is because usually what you normally get when you put this on screen and I disable the mask, you can see that there is actually a left and right black border, which I don't want because I want this particular scene or this layout to be used for vertical format. So the portrait mode, when you hold your phone like normal to demo things and stuff like that. So that's why I have the mask right there. And then I have my border set up as well, which is the border that I usually use with my brand color, so to say. And that's already it. This is the way how you can get your phones showing on screen with an ATM mini live stream switcher from Blackmagic Design. It is a relatively minimal investment to actually get this directly showing on screen. And this actually also gives you another possibility because with, for example, an application like Filmic Pro, if you open that up, it actually offers an option so that you can stream a clean signal to your ATM mini as a camera. So now if I switch to the phone source completely, you can see I have a camera which, <laughs> You can see I have a camera that I can actually walk around with and it is connected with these cables. And in my case, those are about three meters long. So I could actually show you what I have going on here. I can actually also switch the camera modules that I have here. And all of that is possible in this case with the application Filmic Pro. Now, what I like about this particular application for this purpose is that you can actually choose between streaming the screen layout itself or just the camera signal, which makes it possible so that you can actually have a clean feed like this. And I think we can even turn this around so that it becomes a selfie camera. So now I have this phone camera going and that works just wonderfully. And I don't have anything showing on the screen, but of course I here on the iPhone screen, I can actually see all the controls. And you actually also have the function to show all of the information. And that is when I change this. Now I have to disconnect and reconnect the HDMI signal and you have a black screen for a quick second. But now when the HDMI signal comes back, you now actually see the application as it is visible. So this makes it possible so I could do a tutorial about Filmic Pro whilst showing it in the stream and having that show up 
But as I've mentioned, this also gives me the possibility to actually use this camera on my phone as an additional camera to this whole film set by featuring the clean HDMI out. Now this works great if you have an ATM mini or a similar device. However, what do you do if you actually want to do all of this inside of OBS? Now I have made videos about this process in the past. One of the ways is you can actually connect it via lightning adapter. However, that does not transmit audio. This here does. Then of course you also have the way with the NDIHX capture app, which then streams the iPhone screen onto the OBS in your computer with a wireless connection. That already also helps you to capture the audio. However, it is with more latency. This here is barely any latency and is especially good if you want a reliable connection, charge your phone while you use it, and of course also have, for example, gameplay on the screen happening in basically real time. Now to get this going with OBS, I will be using two capture cards. I actually have the Camlink from Elgato and I also have a no name brand HDMI capture card, which costs around 15 euros. So I would probably go with two of these because that's totally enough for most live streaming purposes. And the Elgato Camlink is a relatively expensive capture card. And if you don't need 4K, and that's the only differentiation between these two, the Cam Link actually can do 4K and this no name brand cannot do 4K, then I would totally go for the cheaper one. Then of course I need adapters to USB-C because of the laptop that I will be using of a MacBook which only has those ports. Now we will be using these two on the side right here and just hooking those up like so. And then of course I also need a couple of HDMI cables. Right now I have a white one right here and a black one disconnecting this one from the iPhone first, hooking this up. Let's use the HDMI, the cheap one for the iPhone's camera. And the other end of course goes into the phone like so. And with that, I actually already can go to the screen and I have the iPhone camera here and I wanna use the USB camera too. And there we have the 1080p, let's say we want a 1080p signal and OK. Now, of course, we still have this set up to stream the screen from the iPhone. And if I go back on the home screen, you can see we have all of the things that we usually have available. And holding down the option key, we can actually resize this. So in this case, of course, we want to do it like something like this. And I would probably do this more granularly if I would be doing this for like a real purpose. But right now that's totally enough. And let's position this to the side right there. And the main camera, we will wanna have something like this. And that's actually something that is not possible on the ATM mini, except for the extreme and the extreme ISO because we don't have super source there. So we can't push two sources around like here. Right now we have the phone on the side and then the other one also kind of pushed to the side so that it is centered. Now for the second camera, I wanna use this white cable right here and we can change that to this camera again, plug this in and where is it? Go in there, yeah well. And now I have a camera here, which is the Sony from my partner. And that of course needs a micro HDMI cable. So I have a bit of an adapter there and I actually prefer using adapters like this because it means that I can use any HDMI cable that I have lying around with these types of cameras. Even with the Canon EOS R for example, I also have these adapters. And now we plug that into there and we should have a signal once I take off the lens cap and switch to the desk or the screen again and select our camera, in this case the cam link, and hit OK. And now, as you can see, we have both of them available right there with these two adapters, the cam link and this HDMI video capture card, and we have the phone on the screen as well. And all of that with just, let's say in this case, if you go for the cheaper adapters only, you can get this for like 15 bucks. If you have a second one, that's like 30. And the Apple adapter, you can get a cheaper one or the original from Apple for like 40 bucks. And so with this, you have a capture adapter set and you can include a main camera and your iPhone in your live streams for around 80 euros. 
Now, whether you have an ATM mini or you use the dual capture card method, I think this is a great way to do, for example, tutorials or gameplay with your iPhone screen on your live stream or in your video recording as I am doing right here. Um, if you have any questions around this type of setup, I would love to answer you in the comments or you can connect with me on my Discord server. You will of course find the link in the description down below. If you want to purchase this adapter or any of the capture cards or ATM mini, I would always appreciate if you'll use the links down in the description below. That always helps out with my channel. If you found this interesting or helpful, a thumbs up would be great. And with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Get your iPhone into your stream and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.